Greetings, welcome. Actually kinda in the mood for co- I'm always in the mood for Gwent. Greetings, welcome. Heard Yalmar came here to gather men for his expedition. Aye, he did. 
Such spirit. Stormed in, swept the bowls off the table, jumped atop of it and cried, I'm sailing off to seek glory. Who's with me? Who wants to cut off that bloody giant's head? Guess that was enough to recruit a longboat full of men. Ah, they carried him out on their shoulders, yelling all the while, we'll win back the forge, string that giant up by his gizzards. Should have seen it, Witcher. Brought tears to my eyes. They wanted to take back a forge? What's that about? Never heard the Unvickers forge the best armor in these isles. Their swordsmiths are nothing to sneeze at either. Because we made our blades like the dwarves forged their sails. Soft layered core fitted with a hard steel coating. How do you know? That's a clan Todorov secret. Got some friends who are dwarves. Perhaps you do. But the ore from the mines of Undvik, why not even. Well, no one's got it. That's that. Yalmar must have had a plan. Tell me about it. Plans? Ha! <laughs> they didn't even know where to look for this giant. As I recall, Viggy wanted to cross a frozen lake and scale the mountains. They say the giant came from there? Awoken by the frost that gripped the land around the town? To the harsh winter. Suited that man-eater perfectly. It can only get worse. Even the gods... Well... Mm -hmm. Another one don't believe Ragnarok is nigh. You'll see! All of yous! So long. Glad to be of service. If you need to know more about Undvik or the giant, ask Axel. Or that one over there, or Anter. What do you want? I'm looking for people from Undvik. They're dead. See now, I heard many survived. Stubborn, get your... What do you want to know? You there when the giant attacked? Aye, I was. One of the Jarl's personal guards. Uh, I failed him. Let no credence to what the priestesses said. We'd be punished for robbing the earth of iron, forging it into blades that men kill one another with, that Freya would punish us. Perhaps they spoke the truth. Jarl of Undvik. Tell me about his death. Jarl Harald the Houndsnout. His whole crew died that night. Wilmar, Wilfred, and Wilhelm. I reached them too late. Saw the giant dash Wilmar against a rock. He fell right beside me. All his bones broke, wriggling like a salmon on the sand. Harald was dead by then. What? No, Jarl fought like a bear. Slicing and dodging and hollering, then slicing again. Couldn't save himself, though. How did you manage to survive? First I heard the giant growl to those flying sirens. Damn me if he weren't giving them orders. Under stress, men see all kinds of things. I know what I saw. Rushed to help the Jarl, but one of the cunts sunk her talons in me, lifting me up. Tried to take me to their nest. Pecked me apart, I reckon. But I broke loose of her grip. Plummeted from quite a height. Crashed hard, couldn't stand. Last thing I saw, swarm of sirens swooping down on the yard, thrashing round him. He yipped, he yelped, he screamed, he hollered. Then silence. The men escorting the women and the children to the ships took my unconscious flesh away and brought me to Ard Skellig. I should go. Yeah. I'm looking for men from Hundvik. Yavors from the Isle, and I once cut those waters with Mary Arrest. Could trace you the shoreline in my sleep. A lovely excursion, if not for the bloody sirens. I'm the one to ask. Be your excellent Hadarok. He's over there. 
What can a bloke from Art Skellig know about Unvik? Heard you trilling a different tune when Galmar was gathering his crew. Your love for the Ancrete fade that quick. Ah, that doesn't mind, Dan Dyer. Yavar's from there, or so he claims. And you seem to know these waters. Why didn't you sail with Yalmar? Because that kind of expedition needs a true leader. And a wilt looking to collect bumps on his skull can only be its doom. Once I... You'd rather sit in your arse nose in the air, you Zerakinian princess. Brave lad comes along. You sail with him. I'd have sailed with Yalmar if only those seahorse hadn't banjacked my knee. Would have sailed instead of sharing a table with a grumpy barnacle like you. You'd sail with anyone who'd let you aboard. Crack's daughter included. You mentioned sirens. Many on Undvik? So, so many. More on the other as. Bollocks. Once they attacked Lars and me when we were fishing. Before we could drive him off, they pulled Lars in the water and scratched me up so bad that... Oi! Drive away the sirens? How's that work? Ha! <laughs> Plain to see you're no islander. With a horn wall's horn. One toot, and they plow and scurry off so quick the waves rock your boat. Need to get to Undvik. Uh, another thrill seeker. Well then, listen close. Lest you end in a watery grave. Sail out of port and head southwest. Watch for rocks protruding like pricks out of the water. You'll have to do some tricky tacking to get past them. Some of them shorter, just below the surface. So careful not to scrape right over them. They breach your hull, you're done for. Cause just a few minutes in that icy water makes a corpse. One time I remember... Stick to the point. Well, oh, fine. Watch for the currents, cause they can drag you off course. Dash against the rocks even. With a bit of luck, you'll land on the same beach where Jalmar landed. Nice talking to you. The time I was on my way. So long. Fair winds to you. 